Well, hello boys and girls and welcome back to another Rock the JVM video. I'm Daniel and in this video I'm going to teach you how to deploy your first Aka HTTP server to Heroku in just a couple of minutes. So this video is for newbies to Aka HTTP and for those who have written some Aka HTTP but have never deployed their first server before. So here I'll teach you what you need to know and do so that you have your first server up and running on Heroku in just a couple of minutes. Now I'll be working in IntelliJ IDEA which will create an SBT project structure very quickly quickly, but you can also use the SBT command line to do the same things that I do here in the video. Now, I will recommend, as always, that you code alongside me, and whenever you need to deploy your first application or any Scala application to Heroku, just refer back to this video. And for your convenience, this video is also available in written form at rockthegvm.com forward slash blog. Now, let me open my IntelliJ IDEA and let me create our first project that we will deploy to Heroku. So just go ahead and create new project or click on file and you can uh, create a new project. And if you have the Scala plugin installed for IntelliJ, you should have these options that I have selected here on screen. So I'm going to select Scala and SBT, which are also highlighted already. Now click on next and name this project however you want. I'm going to name this Aka HTTP first server and uh, leave the rest of the options checked as they are and then click on finish which will create an uh, IntelliJ project for you with the correct structure already. Now I'm going to switch to presentation mode so that the text is really big so um, it's very visible here on screen and uh, if you uncollapse Aka HTTP first server you will have the right structure already. Now let's go ahead and create an uh, empty Scala application so if you uncollapse source main Scala go ahead and create a package here so I'm going to create a new package I'm going to name this server and under the server package I'm going to go ahead and create a simple Scala application so new Scala class I'm going to name this my server I'm going to make it an object and uh, because I've created an object, I will need to create a main method as well. So I'm going to type in main, hit on enter, and I have my first empty Scala application already. Good. Now I'm going to um, uh, close this file and we'll switch to our boilerplate. So in order for this application to be able to run on Heroku, you will need to set up some SBT boilerplate so that Heroku is able to automatically detect if this project is a Scala application and uh, which application which Scala class it will invoke as the main one. Cool. So IntelliJ will create a small project folder here which is uh, automatically created for us and you will need to add a file called plugins.sbt inside this project folder. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name this plugins.sbt and type in the following. You will need to add sbt plugin Notice that you will also have uh, this autocomplete here by IntelliJ and you will need to add the following. You will need to add com typesafe.sbt and then a, a percent sign and you will need sbt-native packager and then another percent sign and you will need to put in the version here which I'm going to use 1312 at the moment of this recording. This will add an SBT plugin that will allow you to package the application in a way that Heroku understands. Okay. Now uh, after you've done that you can safely close this file and then switch to build.sbt which will contain all the library definitions that you will need for this project. So open this which uh, will have the name of the project, the version of this particular uh, project and then the Scala version which I have 2.12 here you can have 2.13 or some other Scala version it doesn't really matter and I'm going to add some library definitions for this project so I'm going to define a small val I'm going to name this Aka version and the Aka version that I'm going to use is 2.65 and uh, another val Aka HTTP version because they're versioned differently and I'm going to use 10.1.12. Now with these versions I'm going to add the appropriate libraries for the project. So I'm going to say library dependencies which you also have here automatically as uh, inferred by IntelliJ and I'm going to say plus plus equals and you will pass in a sequence of library definitions. So I'm going to add the following libraries. com typesafe Aka and then 
percent percent aka stream because aka HTTP depends on aka streams and uh, you will need another percent sign and I'm going to use aka version then a comma then I'm going to copy this line and paste it below and I'm going to use aka actor typed so that you will um, uh, be able to pass in an actor system so that the server will have uh, some thread pools to run on top of. And then I'm going to paste this line again and I'm going to modify com type safe aka and I'm going to use aka HTTP. And this time I'm going to pass in aka HTTP version in here. So these are the libraries that we are going to need for this project. As at the same time, I'm going to also Enable the Java app packaging, which is a plugin that we added here in plugins.sbt by writing the following. I'm going to say enable plugins, just like that, and I'm going to pass in Java app packaging. Now, at the, um, the time you're typing this, the Java app packaging might turn a little bit red because the Java app packaging definition is not yet available to SBT. We're going to fix that in a second by clicking on this import changes, but not right now. And uh, finally, we are going to register this my server class that we created a couple of minutes ago as the main class of the application that Heroku will actually invoke. So I'm going to say main class in compile with a capital C, colon equals, and then I'm going to use an option. This is a Scala option. So I'm going to use sum, and then I'm going to pass in a string, server.myServer. This is the fully qualified class name of the application that we created a couple of minutes ago. And at this moment, the build.sbt file is complete, and you can click on this import changes to make IntelliJ download the appropriate libraries for you and load the appropriate plugins. Now, this might take anywhere between a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, so feel free to pause the video if this is a little bit slow. Now, in this case, the download was pretty quick, and notice that IntelliJ has modified the structure of the project a little bit. And if you don't see any red in build.sbt anymore, then you're good to go, and you can can write some actual code for your server, which is the fun part. So this is probably what we care about the most, the actual writing of the logic that will be our server. Now, Aqua HTTP is a huge set of libraries with lots of capabilities, and in this video I'm going to focus on a simple server that, when you hit with a GET request, it will respond with a small HTML, which will be seen in your browser at the very end. So here goes. Go to my server, uh, the Scala application, and add the following. First, I'm going to add a piece of content that I will return when invoked with a GET request from my browser. So I'm going to define a val called content as, and I'm going to use a uh, triple quote string, and I'm going to type in some HTML. So I'm going to say HTML, let me close that, and then I'm going to add a head if you want to add some JavaScript if you want, or some styles or whatever, and then in the body, which I'm going to close as well, I'm going to add a simple string. This is an HTML served by Aka HTTP with an exclamation mark because we want to be very dramatic. And uh, this will be the content that our server will send us back. Now, you will quickly define the logic of your server by a what is called a directive in Aka HTTP, which is a fancy DSL to compose routing mechanisms very, very quickly. So here's what I'm going to write. At the top, I'm going to go import Aka HTTP Scala DSL, then server directives, and then underscore, just to have access to all the directives that you can possibly use in an Aka HTTP server. And uh, in the main, in the my server object, I'm going to define uh, a value called route, because this is the technical term for the routing logic in an Aka HTTP server, and I'm going to use the following. I'm going to say get which is a server directive, and this get takes a function that we'll use to complete. So if the server receives a get request, we will complete the response with what is called an HTTP entity, and this HTTP entity will specify the content type of the response, which we will say as content types, and import the Scala DSL type, and use text.html 
and then a comma, and then the actual payload of this entity. So I'm going to pass in content. So uh, this specifies the routing logic in our server. If we get a GET request as an HTTP GET request, this HTTP server will complete the response with an HTTP entity with content types text.html so that the browser can automatically kick in its HTML parser and uh, loader, and then the actual payload of the HTML page. All right. So uh, in the main method, we will need to bind this route to a host and a port combination. And we'll also need to set up the appropriate actor system for Alka HTTP to run correctly. So I'm going to define an implicit val system as an actor system. And uh, at this moment, you can use an, a typed actor system or an untyped actor system. For simplicity, I'm going to use an untyped actor system and I'm going to name this my server. The actor system will also expose an actor materializer, which will be the foundation for the Aka streams, which in turn will be the foundation for the Aka HTTP server that will be your application. But that's nothing that you need to concern yourself with. You just need to define an actor system and make it implicit. Now, I'm going to define the host and port combination that uh, is going to host this server. And for Heroku, you will need 0000, 000 as the IP because you cannot bind to localhost. So I'm gonna define a host value string as 0000, and then the port as, and I'm going to use sys.env.getOrElse, and I'm going to get the environment port. And if this environment value port doesn't have anything, I'm going to use the string 8080, and then I'm going to convert that to int because the environment variables are by default strings and I'm interested in a numerical value. Now, as I have a host and a port, I can actually bind my server logic defined by this route to this host and port by doing HTTP and I'm going to import the HTTP type from the Scala DSL package. So HTTP, and I'm going to invoke the apply method and then bind and handle. And I'm going to use the route, the host and the port. So this is how the server actually gets started. And this, my friends, is everything. Now your application is ready to be deployed to Heroku. Now, you will need to follow a few steps in order to uh, deploy this application to Heroku. Make sure first that you have a Heroku account. So click on signup.heroku.com and just fill in this small form. It should only take a minute to sign up for Heroku. You'll also have links to everything in the description of this video. So after you sign up for Heroku, go ahead and fill this form. Then you need to create your first application after you have a Heroku account. Once you create a Heroku account, this is probably going to be the first button that you're going to see in your dashboard, create your first app. And otherwise, you can go to dashboardheroku.com slash new app. You'll also have this link in the video. So give this application a name. I'm going to name this Rock the JVM Aka HTTP first server. Choose a region where you will host this application. I'm in Europe. I'm going to pick that. And then you will go ahead and create the application. And uh, this is basically it. Uh, Heroku now has the um, your uh, server name actually registered and you will need to push a deployed jar to it so that Heroku can load it. Now, in order to do that, you will need the Heroku command line interface. So um, go to the web page for the Heroku command line download. You will also find this link in the description of this video as well and download the command line interface for your platform. You can have Mac, Windows, Ubuntu or other operating systems that you might need. Now, if you need to pause the video and sign up for Heroku, create your first application and download and install the Heroku command line interface, feel free to pause the video and then we'll continue after that. And after you have the Heroku command line, you will need to open a terminal and you will need to go to the directory of your Aka HTTP project that you just created a few minutes ago, and you will need to run the following commands. So I will uh, go to the folder where I created my Aka HTTP first server. So I'm going to cd Aka HTTP first server, and I will type in git init. So you will need to initialize this project as a git repository. So do git.init and then 
git add dot just to add everything and then git commit dot m dash m my first server. All right, so you have all the files in this project and then you will need to log into Heroku and make Heroku detect this project as a Scala application. So I'm going to type in Heroku login and this will open a browser window if you hit any key and the browser will automatically connect you to your already logged in account and then uh, you will click on this button you will say logged in and the terminal window is already logged into Heroku. Now, you will need to type in the following command. You will need to say Heroku git colon remote dash a and then you will need to type in the name of your project. So I'm going to say rock the JVM aka HTTP first server so you will need to type in your project name which will bind the current folder the current project aka http first server to your application that you created under your own account and this will create a git remote so that you can push your code to that git repository and then heroku will spin an actual application off of that git repository all right so you will need to hit on enter so this will set git remote heroku to at this address. Now, you will need to push, so git push Heroku master. Heroku is the name of this git remote. This is the name of this particular git repository, which has already been initialized for you. And when you say git push Heroku master, the code will be pushed to this git repository and Heroku will be automatically triggered to build your application and then spin it up. So hit on enter and this will take a couple of minutes. So this will push some code. Scala app detected. This is because of the Scala source files and for the build SBT and the SBT files. And this will take a couple of minutes. And um, once it's done, you should enjoy your Aka HTTP server. Now for brevity, I'm going to speed this up. All right, so now at the end, we have a compressing launched and released v5 and you have your actual URL, which is the application that will host your server. So copy that, go to your browser and then open another tab and hit it. And you will have your very first HTML served by your very first server from Aka HTTP with Heroku. So I hope this was useful. You now have your own very first Aka HTTP server running live. Now, I know I promised in just a few minutes you will be able to do that, but I also talked a lot and I typed the code manually. And if you follow the blog post and just copy and paste the code that I manually typed here in the video, you'll be able to set your server up in under 10 minutes. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and follow Rock the JVM on Twitter and LinkedIn for the latest updates on upcoming material. Now, I'm dying for feedback, so please share it with me in the comments below and in the meantime thank you for watching